boy, do I have a story for you this week. Fasten your seatbelts because I'm either going to save you $50,000 or show you how to make half a billion dollars. Yes, billion with a B. All right, so it all started three months ago. I had a gentleman that called me up and he was interested in going through our program. And what I did was I gave him a funding estimate. I told him he could get between $50,000 and $80,000 by going through our program after I reviewed all his documents. And he didn't like that answer. So what he ended up doing was he went online and he found a company that, uh, use that term loosely, it wasn't much of a company, but uh, he found somebody that sold him what's called a shelf corporation. Basically, for those of you that don't know what a shelf corporation is, it's a company, whether it's an LLC or uh, a corporation that was established three, four, five years ago to show that there's business history. So it's basically something that's established with the state. Oftentimes it doesn't even have a tax ID number. So it's just a shell of a company that's sitting on a shelf. And this gentleman paid $50,000 for a five-year-old shelf corporation, right? So. Uh, additionally, he was promised a half million dollar credit line, $500,000 in unsecured credit that's not personally guaranteed and isn't attached to your name or your social security number. All right. So uh, this guy goes ahead and pays uh, the $50,000 and buys his shelf corporation. Uh, lo and behold, now the person that sold it to him won't return his calls and all he has is a piece of paper that's completely worthless. and. Uh, he spent $50,000 on it. So uh, here, let's think about this from a logical standpoint. I won't even bore you with why that doesn't work with underwriting or banking or Dodd-Frank Act. All of that is boring, nerdy stuff, and I won't talk about it here. But uh, let's take the Shelf Corp and let's say uh, you bought one, right? And let's say this thing did work out. Let's be optimistic. What is stopping you from taking that half million dollar credit line, going back to the same guy that sold it to you and saying, you know what, give me 10 more. And then once you have those 10, all of a sudden you have $5 million in credit, right? You take that $5 million in credit, you go to the same guy again and say, you know what, give me a hundred more shelf corporations that come with a half million dollar credit line attached to it. And then you take those hundred, you go back to the same guy and you say, give me a thousand of them. Now you got half a billion dollars my friend you got 500 billion dollars in credit that you are not personally responsible for nor do you have to pay it back does that make any sense at all i mean why isn't the guy that sold it to you doing that if he could get that much credit why would he just sell it to you for one tenth of what uh the credit line is especially if he doesn't have to pay it back so let's think about it and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you some red flags to look for. Uh, number one thing is all of these vendors are going to have an upfront fee, right? So they're going to want a check or a money order or they're going to want uh, a wire or something upfront that's non-refundable. Uh, number two is they're likely not going to have any kind of a legitimate office location. Uh, they'll either be operating out of a Regis suite or a UPS store or something like that. So uh, look out for that. Also, uh, they're likely not going to want to meet with you in person. If you have $50,000 to spend on a shelf corporation, it's worth 500 bucks to fly across the country and see who you're buying it from. Maybe check his ID, right? So uh, that's number three. Number four is if it's too good to be true, it likely is. So stay away from shelf corps. Nothing good comes out of it when you pay an upfront fee to buy something uh, that has this extravagant promises of what's going to happen. So uh, oftentimes it is a ripoff. If you have any questions or if you want me to do a once over and give you a second opinion on something, comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Subscribe to this channel if this video has helped you out and like our Facebook page. I'll see you next week with another awesome tip. Bye.